Hello YouTube and welcome to an announcement video for Tison Craft. This is Cobbs, the author of Tison Craft, uh, bringing you this announcement video. Now I'm going to be talking about the future of Tison Craft and, well, what I'm currently doing in that. So, without further ado, let us begin. So first of all, I would like to talk about the current version of Tison Craft that's been released. So, version 2.8.0 for 1.9 and 1.94 and version 1.18.0 for version 1.89 of Minecraft. Um, this update, well, adds a couple of things basically. It adds this Magmite reactor. Pretty simple. Don't worry about that. This actually still works. It just doesn't render properly. I'm, that is fixed in my current dev version. Um, but the Magmite reactor, very simple stuff. I have to cheat mode and show you what it does. Basically, what it does is, well, if I pop it down, you can charge it. I'll charge it with redstone because it can. Just do that. See, it stores a lot more energy than normal machines do, but essentially, the way it works is uh, if I put in a crusher from Tison Craft, that upgrades it into a, um, it's the Magmite version of itself, which obviously has the different GUI and all that stuff, and is generally just better, so that's the normal one, and then the magmite one here, it's a different GUI, but um, yeah, it's just it's basically faster and upgrades better and stuff, basically, that's the difference, so that's basically the main thing in this new version of Tison Craft, it also fixes a bunch of bugs with the uh, 194 version where the client wasn't syncing properly and things like that, uh, with the energy system and the tech update. Um, so, yes, so the future of Tison Craft is another thing. So, with the release of the 0.8 version, I have, well, we're dropping support for Minecraft 1.8.9. Um, of course, anything within the 0.8 branch, so, for example, like 1.18.1, for example, that sort of stuff, that will be continued to work on, and that will be bug fixes and potentially the rest of the sort of modified tech update that I'm working on um, to some degree that that will work that will be released for 1.8.9 as well as the 1.9 versions however with the recent changes to forge and 1.9.4 um, and the fact that it's not particularly broken in fact I'm actually running this at 1.9.4 at the moment um, just in case you're wondering, it's there. Where's my FPS on? 80, please. Thank you. We want the chunks are loading so slowly. Um, yeah, with the recent changes to Forge in 1.9.4, I think I'm. Well, that's the main version I'm going to be supporting into the future. So 1.9 support may also be dropped with the, uh, with this update, depending on how long it takes me to do my next project. Uh, which is in fact a rewrite of the entire mod for Minecraft 1.9.4. Depending on how long that takes, I may in fact only be releasing a Minecraft 1.9.4 version into the future. Which, by that point, may be okay. Because hopefully there'll be a recommended build of Forge by the time that comes out. It's actually the rewrite will just fix the sort of... As a developer looking at the mod, whenever I play with it, I don't know whether it's because I'm the maker of it, but there's always something about it that just doesn't feel quite right. I don't... I feel like I may be the only one who experiences this, potentially, seeing as I understand the underlying work behind it, but it, it also... It's hard to pinpoint exactly what it is. But there's a, there's what there's always something with each feature that doesn't seem right, and I believe that that's mainly due to the fact that when look, this is my first mod, and yeah, following the tutorials to start off with, so it's sort of it didn't always feel quite right, and as I continued throughout the mod, I felt like. I was beginning to sort of get a better grasp of modding Minecraft and all of that stuff. 
Um, and having remade some of the older systems, I'm starting to feel like I have a better grasp over modding than I did at the beginning. And as a result, came to the decision that it might be a good idea to actually um, rewrite the entire thing. Because why, why settle with the idea that only half of the things that I add are actually reasonably well done um, when it could be that the entire mod is. So the idea of rewriting it would be essentially just to alleviate some of the concerns that I have and others may also have um, and make it so that it feels better, basically. Um, but not only that, it intends to implement new systems change old ones and probably update almost all of the textures in the mod. Um, which is why it may take a while, because I'm not a particularly good artist. So, uh, yeah, it takes a while to make new textures for me. Um, yeah. So that's, that's how I feel about the mod at the moment. I feel the, re the rewrite should make it feel better. I mean, the parts that I already have done, which would be the cauldrons and the, I think the basic startup thing, which by the way, the, I'm, the new rewrite will also include config changes. So, in fact, the the starting thing that takes ages, uh, the config is being switched around the other way so that by default, um, you. You, you will have the easy start by default, and if you want the hard beginning, the, the sort of long and tedious one, as is labeled in the config, that will be disabled by default, and you will need to enable that if you want to have the long start. Which I felt will, will make the mod feel more user-friendly, because as it has been told to me a few times, that people sometimes feel overwhelmed by how hard the start is, and not everyone, when they're playing in a mod pack, uh, likes that sort of thing and aren't always aware of the fact that they can change the configs. Um, so that'll be disabled by default if a mod pack also wants to make it harder or whatever, they can. It's, it's fully up to them. And there'll be a few other things. So the transmutation system, again, that feels like something that not everyone is into particularly and even with the recent balances can sometimes not always be the most balanced thing especially when you get later game plus there are other mods like Rhythm Exchange out there which of course came up with the idea in the first place um, that, that just have their own way of doing it and I feel like having multiple versions of the same system or the similar systems anyway they're not they're not the same really, but they do the same thing. Um, it, it just sometimes isn't right, and for that purpose the transmutation system, as it is in the 1.9.4 version, may actually be removed. But, of course, the magic machines and things will still work, they'll just work differently. So the transmutation tables are likely to not exist in the new rewrite version, which is fine in my opinion, because, I mean, I think if you want a mod to do transmutation, you shouldn't really be using t Craft, you should be using a Korean Exchange or Project E or something like that. I know t Craft does balance it differently to them with the orbs now, but I feel that there are, the, there are mods that do it better than mine. mine. That was sort of an extra thing that I threw in at, towards release of the original version just because it felt like it. Plus, I wanted my own take on it at the time. I just feel like it's best to stick with the sort of original things for that, not to use a thing that was sort of thrown together at one point and has been updated recently. So that, that's my, my stance on the uh, transmutation system. Um, so the next version probably will not include it. The next like release version won't include it. Um, which I'm okay with, and I feel probably is about time that I did get rid of it because, with 
the likelihood that equivalent exchange is to be released soon and things like that. Because so apparently a new version of equivalent exchange 3 is to be released for Minecraft 1.9.4 soon. Which I, and I, I feel that with the release of that and probably I imagine Project E already has a version for 1.9.4 or at least 1.9. Um, I feel that the transmutation system isn't really mandatory to keep hold of anyway. So that's another thing that will be changing, of course. In the new version, we're likely to see changes to most of the mechanics that already exist. So, for example, my current energy system, I would have to say, isn't really an energy system of any kind, and I intend to actually design an energy system for it, a, a reasonably well put together one, hopefully. Because um, currently it is literally just blocks pushing uh, numbers around between them. Well, is pushing numbers around. Rather than having a sort of concrete sort of way of dealing with it that will work with other implementations. So the intention being that I will eventually create a system that maybe able to interface with RF capabilities so that should be interesting that'll be for the tech stage thing so these should be able to in theory I will get them to transfer RF energy at some point my machines won't run off RF but they'll be able to transfer these will be able to transfer both RF and the TSON craft energy in future at least that's the plan anyway as it currently stands um, and there'll be a few other changes just sort of generally I mean with the rewrite obviously very few things are going to be the same for example my cauldrons um, so will these cauldrons yeah well, I'll talk about this one later actually because I feel like no one knows how to make this and to be fair it doesn't really do anything but it exists for some reason all of these cauldrons, all the ones that have got water, nature, all the different liquids in them, that's changing. So um, instead there are only three different blocks of cauldron as it is. So it would be the empty cauldrons of the blocks. And then the these sort of things, they're just sort of metadata changes in the new version as opposed to being individual blocks in their own, their own right. That's changing. Um, which uh, for gameplay wise doesn't really change anything, but Programming wise, it's just better in general. And we'll have a few other things. So, again, all the textures are changing to new things. Um, yeah, because quite a lot of this stuff I designed while I was either really tired or just not bothered, particularly. And on top of the fact that I'm not very good at art, it means that if I don't spend a long time designing things or thinking about stuff, it's not going to look very good. And I feel that most of the blocks don't look that good. Um, I mean I was pleased with how the cauldrons turned out but again there are improvements to be made here so the bottom half I think looks okay and then the top half is sort of just sort of blank and you know it, it kind of just sort of detracts from the entire thing. Now, that's sort of how I feel about that sort of stuff. Uh, we'll see how it goes in the future. I think that most of this stuff the mod will take on a different stance, so it'll probably be less sort of bright and colourful per se. Because I, feel, whenever I search this up in in um, uh, JEI here, it it always looks really sort of colourful and you know, and I feel that that doesn't it doesn't really reflect the seriousness of the actual of Tison itself. Uh, though I know none of you really know what Tison is yet. Uh, it'll be a while before we get to that stage where you'll begin to sort of being brought into the world of Tison itself. Um, yeah, it's it's a little bit difficult to explain because there is a lot about it. Um, there's a lot of story behind it, so that that's kind of that. So. Yeah, there's a, there's a fair bit of seriousness in Tison itself, and the bright colors don't always reflect it, even if it is magical and stuff. Uh, so it's likely that that sort of stuff will be changing at some point. 
So it's unlikely that we'll see green, um, blue, and purple as the, the sort of primary colors of, of power as it is. They're likely to not be that in the future. They're likely to be something else. And we'll see how it goes. Um, they may just be the same colors, but sort of more dark and not quite as bright and vibrant as they are currently. Um, yeah, that's another thing. And of course, it will look, it'll be a different aesthetic, certainly, to what it currently is, I think. Um, is there anything else? I was thinking, I can't think of anything in particular that's different. Yeah, I mean, I think that's basically it. So the new version will be titled under the um, 3.0.0 branch, uh, as opposed to the 2. Point something branch. So you'll know when the new version exists because it will be 3. Point something rather than 2. Point something. Um, yeah, so that is pretty much the summary of this update. Uh, just talking about some things that are going on with the mod and what I'm doing and stuff like that and why nothing seems to be happening from for the mod and other things like that you know that sort of stuff uh, yeah I don't really know that's basically it yeah that's but yeah that's what I wanted to say so I hope you guys are excited for the future of Tson craft if you are that's good um, yeah, I, I look forward to seeing the mod expand to a wider audience, and I think it should be quite interesting when I when it gets added to more mod packs and stuff. It is in quite a few, well, it's in a couple already, which I'm happy about, and I'm actually surprised at how well the mod the mod did to start off with, which is it's very encouraging to see that there is interest in it, and. I can't thank you guys enough for being interested in the mod. It, it is... It's... It's... Yeah. I, I just can't thank you guys enough for being supportive of the mod itself this much. I mean, if I look at it now, how, how long ago did I release this? It must have been like... Yeah. I'm not actually sure where I can be when I released it, but oh, no, I can. Yeah, there we go. Uh, it was released on the 5th of January, 2016, and since then it's had 12,000 downloads. And as my first mod, and how how unpolished it has been throughout its existence, I, I am impressed by that number. That it means a lot to me that it has done reasonably well. Um, well, it has done well compared to a lot of the mods I see, and yeah, I, I'm glad that it has taken its place to some degree in on curse. So, yes, I thank you guys a lot for that, and hope you guys enjoyed this update. Are excited for the future, and. Well, I, there's a lot of stuff that's going to happen that I think that it's going to make the mod stand out compared to its old version and possibly bring some of the people who sort of don't like the mod as much as they used to it should hopefully bring them back to it or at least that is my hope so I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time goodbye